Icon, and today I will be making designer inspired cupcakes. These super cute cupcakes are perfect for fashion themed parties from bachelorettes to sweet 16 or as a gift to your girlfriend. And so I thought spring and summer is coming up so let's have some fun and be creative. And so if you're curious and want to know how to make these super cute fashionable cupcakes just keep watching. Baking instructions. Preheat oven to 350 degrees. I'm using Duncan Hines triple chocolate cake mix. For reference, the instructions are on the back of the box. When you open the box, there are two separate packets. This one is the packet for the chocolate topping. You just have to add one third cup of water and mix it together until it has a thick consistency like this one. For this next part, you'll need a bigger bowl. Pour the bigger packet, which is the cake mix. Then pour one cup of water. Then pour one third cup of vegetable oil. Stir three large eggs on a separate bowl. Pour it into our cake mix and stir it all together. Till dry mix has a sticky consistency. Like this one. After that, Pour cake mix batter into molder with cupcake wrapper on it. Fill up to a little bit halfway over. Then pour or swirl a spoonful of chocolate topping that we made earlier. This will be the surprise chocolate overload goodness inside the cupcake. After our oven is set to 350 degrees, bake the cupcakes for 27 minutes. Now let's do decorations. Using a non-stick surface like vinyl, you will need an inch and a half of diameter of fondant. I recommend using Wilton's Pastel Colored Fondant. You can buy from Walmart or craft store like Michael's. Now knead the fondant, then use a Wilton's Fondant non-stick roller to flatten the fondant to 1 8 of an inch thick. Use any round shaped object like a cup that matches the size of the cupcake wrapper to cut a round shape. After our cupcakes are done, let it cool for about 10 minutes. When it's ready, place the molded round shape fondant to cover the top of the cupcake. This first procedure is similar to the rest of the other cupcakes I will show and fast forward later. This cupcake is Chanel inspired. I'm using a pizza cutter to lightly create the famous quilted crisscross pattern from Chanel. Next, I'm using Wilton's Edible Decorating Alphabet to create the designer's logo, which you can also buy from Walmart or craft store like Michael's. Next, use Wilton's Decorator's brush and dip it on water to stick the designer's logo. To finish off our Chanel-inspired cupcake, I'm using Edible Pearls, which you can buy in any supermarket. Finally, you can use the back tip of your decorator's brush to indent the corners of the quilted pattern we created earlier and again use the water as a bonding agent to stick the pearls to the fondant. Now our Chanel inspired cupcakes is done. Due to time constraints, the next one I'm going to show you are going to be fast forward, but they are generally similar to this one. except I use different colored fondants and also use fondant to create shapes like the Hermes Birkin bag. And I also use Wilton's black color decorating gel to create the Versace design.
Well, we're done. Wow, these look so pretty. I don't even want to eat it. But let's go taste one. Favorite. Definitely yummy. The fondant is just very light, not too sweet at all. And the little pearls taste kind of just like like just 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 hard and sugar, so it's it is it's just all combination sweet. And you can tell, you can see the the chocolate is like melted inside. Like there's this little Hershey chocolate that are melted inside. So it's so good. Really good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and if you have any questions or any suggestions or leave your comments below. Um, and I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks guys.